Okay, uh, before we go to the next subtopic again, let us look at a few examples for constant ratio method. So, but there, there are there beberapa jenis cara untuk tanya soalan. So, let us look at example 8.6. Okay, example 8.6 here. Zaleha purchased 8,000 piano through an installment plan. She have to pay 2,000 down payment and add the money payment of 360 each. Find the installment price, the total interest charge and the rent the flat rate the simple interest rate charge and the approximate APR by using constant ratio method another soalan yang biasa tanya adalah the APR rate okay the APR rate the APR rate here okay untuk cari the I okay you look at this question you look at this question the first one is the installment price so the installment price should be no problem down payment plus total money payment right so here you already got the money payment which is 300 okay the money payment uh, the number of payment n is 18 so you can get the answer here this one no problem then the second one is the total interest charge total interest charge installment price minus cash price ini pun tidak ada masalah kan then C the flat rate kalau soalan itu cakap flat rate if the question here mentioned about the flat rate here kalau soalan itu based on flat rate dia adalah gunakan I sama dengan Dia adalah gunakan I sama dengan PRT, flat rate. So, here will be the percentage of the flat rate. So, I ini kamu sudah cari based on here. Okay. And plug everything in the formula here. P ini adalah the original balance. T ini adalah the, the uh, number of payment. Okay, berapa bulan? 18 bahagi dengan 12. Okay, you got this flat rate. D ini adalah approximate APR rate. Kalau APR rate, based on constant ratio method, dia adalah untuk cari uh, the R ini. So, this is the APR rate. So, here, find out 2 ini memang 2 lah. The M ini is either 52 atau 12. So based on the question here, dia adalah cakap based on 18 monthly payment. So M ini adalah 12. I ini kamu sudah cari tadi. The total interest total interest here is 300. Masukkan saja. B ini adalah the original balance 600. Eh sorry 6000 and T. Okay, so the APR rate here is 6.32. Okay, so this is one type of method. So R ini kalau based on constant ratio method, dia akan suruh kamu cari the APR rate. So let us look at a different type of question again. So 8.6, 8.7, uh, sorry, 8.7. Rosma purchased a 4,000 computer. She has to pay 2,000 down payment and 20 weekly payment, okay, of 110 each. Find the approximate effective rate. So, APR rate, approximate effective rate, that is charged by using the constant ratio method. Kalau approximate effective rate, dia sama dengan APR rate. Kalau APR rate, you have to use this formula. R sama dengan 2MI divided by B N minus N plus 1. Sorry. Okay. So, M ini, sekarang you have to be careful. M is, is either 5, 52 atau 12. But here is based on weekly. Jadi, M ini adalah 52. So, I ini adalah the total interest charge, right? So the total interest charge, total interest paid, yeah, you can base on this. Okay, the total interest is you can base on this, whereby one one zero times dua puluh tolak dengan the original balance, tolak dengan original balance, then you can get the total interest charge. Okay, then bahagi dengan bahagi dengan the original balance here is two thousand. Okay, the N is 20 plus 1. 
so the APR rate is 49.52 percent okay 49.52 percent okay now let us look at this question okay let us look at this question again I clear everything first huh? okay example at point at example at point at an electric guitar is priced 300 cash and the cash purchase is entitled for 10 percent discount the guitar have purchased for 50 down payment and 13 weekly week for 20 weeks 13 ringgit a week for 20 weeks find the approximate effective rate charge to in to the installment buyer by using the constant ratio method okay so the cash price here is 300 a cash purchase is entitled for 10 percent discount so from here you uh, you cannot cari what is the true cash price kalau kamu gunakan cash price dia ada 10 percent kan so here you have to find out what is the true cash price either you can use <coughs> New price sama dengan L satu tolak dengan A, which is three thousand eh three hundred satu tolak kosong point satu, which is two hundred and seventy. Okay, two hundred seventy. Installment price here, you can find out the installment price is fifty plus fifty plus thirteen times twenty. So here installment price dia gunakan down payment plus total monthly payment okay sorry ya so installment price dia gunakan cash at down payment plus total monthly payment which is 50 plus 13 times 20 which is 310 so the total interest charge 40 you might be wondering kenapa boleh jadi 40 because kalau kamu gunakan cash price dia masih ada discount which is what you hanya perlu bayar 270 saja tapi kalau kalau kamu gunakan installment price adalah 310 jadi perbezaan di sini adalah consider as the interest okay consider as the interest so here the question here ask you to find out what is the in uh, what is the APR rate okay this question Kalau compare dengan tadi punya question, this question ada confuse sikit sebab dia ada the discount. 10% if you but purchasing by using the cash. So you have to take uh, you have to consider that the perbezaan antara the installment price dengan cash price is considered as the total interest charge. Okay, total interest charge. So from here you plug everything in the formula, you can get the answer here. Okay, so here the confusing here is only here. Okay, the confusing here is the ten percent discount. Okay, remember that interest total interest charge interest charge. Okay, sama dengan installment price minus dengan cash price. So cash price ini adalah the exact cash price kalau dia ada discount you have to tolak dengan discount okay so let us look at this question okay let us look at this question uh, it's a different type of uh, uh, method of asking the high five set is listed at 100 cash through an installment plan in which you have to make six monthly payment so and here is considered as six monthly payment. The interest is ten percent per annum simple interest rate by you in simple interest by using constant ratio method. What is the approximate effective rate? APR rate. APR rate charged by the dealer. Okay. So from here, bila kamu tang tengok APR rate, you must see ada M right. You must see ada I. So from here, you can find the I first, whereby they check up. 10% per annum simple interest rate okay 10% per annum simple interest rate so now you can use PRT to find out the interest first 
okay it's about 10 percent per annum simple interest rate so p here is 800 the simple interest 0 0.1 and the t here is six monthly payments six over 12 okay so you can get 40 then the question here would like you to find out what is the apr rate plug everything into the formula to dot plus 40 so dot plus is either 52 or 12 so dia adalah cakap based on monthly jadi m ini adalah 12 then i ini total interest is 40 divided by 806 plus 1 so you get the answer here okay